Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we are going to be adding and subtracting decimals. All right, let's get started. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today on the show, we are adding and subtracting decimals. Now, I already know that you are math ninja experts at adding and subtracting but where the difficulty is, is where that decimal is supposed to be and how you're supposed to line it up. So let's just take a look at this problem right here. We have 5.25 plus 3.5, all right? This is the decimal point right here. Now, this can be represented like $5 and 25 cents. When you say this number, it's okay to say the word and because and represents the decimal point. Now look at this. This is three dollars and that's not five cents. That is 50 cents. If this were to be five cents, I would have a zero and a five right here. But this is 50 cents. Now you're saying, hey, how come you don't have the zero right here? Well, I can put the zero in just like that. So if I don't have a zero right here, you can just fill it up. Now look at this. I'm just going to go kind of off topic here a little bit. This is 3.5, all right? That is equal to 3.50 or 3.50000000000. Do you get the point? These all, it doesn't matter how many zeros are in the back of the decimal point, it's still the same value. Um, the reason you might have a lot of zeros and some numbers is that you're starting to get really small amounts. But we're just dealing with $3.50 right here. I'm gonna put the zero right here. Now, when you are working with problems like that, and I'm gonna go over that in this video here, we are going to, I'm going to teach you how to line this up, but it's very important. Now, you'll see that the decimal point is here and here, and in your answer, it's going to be, boom, right there, okay? Now, you know how to add, right? Math Ninja, yeah! Let's just go ahead and start adding, and, and this will all work out, all right? Now, remember, when we add, we add the ones first, yeah! Five plus zero, five, all right? Guys are math experts. Five plus two, five, six, seven, yeah. All right, look at that. I already put my decimal point right there, all right? Way ahead of myself. Otherwise, if you didn't do that, drop her down. Bam, right here. Now, I go over, five plus three, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, eight. Don't be late. So I put the eight right here. My answer is 8.75. Or if you want to talk about money, it's $8.75. We're not talking about money right here. Why? Because I don't have the dollar sign. Do that in another unit. But right now, we're going to go ahead and do another problem. Ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, here, we got three sets of numbers right here. They all have the decimal point in different places. So what we need to do is we need to line up that decimal point. So let's go ahead and do that, all right? You see how I did that? I lined them all up. The decimal point is all in a line. Easy, cheesy, lemon, squeezy. All right, ready to do another problem? Yeah, let's do it, yeah. Okay, we got our next problem. 4.25 plus 13.6. Yes, you are correct, my math ninja. This problem is written incorrectly. We gotta rewrite this because we need that decimal point lined up. This decimal point is way over there. <sighs> Cannot have that happen. All right, so let's redo it. I'm going to erase 13.6, mm, move it over. You ready to do it for me? Yeah, let's do it, yeah. So I'm going to erase 13.6. Got to keep that number in my mind, 13.6, 13.6, okay? So 13.6, I know the decimal point is going to be here. I'm going to move that plus sign over here a little bit. Put 13, make sure you line up your numbers. 13.6. That's the same number, isn't it? Yeah. I just moved it over, lined it up. Make sure your numbers are lined up, that you're writing. Very neat. Now, I got 4.25 plus 13.6. 
what I like to do is put a zero right there. Let's do it. Yeah. Put a zero right here. Now I'm ready to add. Now you're saying, hey, do I need to put a zero there? No, you don't need to put a zero there. All right, remember when we add, we add the ones first. Let's go do it. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Drop the five down. Drop the five down. Dropping it down. Yeah. All right, now we add the tens. Six plus two, six, seven, eight. Yeah, don't be late. Put the eight right there, okay? Decimal point, decimal point, decimal point there. Decimal point, decimal point, decimal point there. Drop it down in a line. Ye, ye, ye. All right. Got to make fun. math fun. I know your teacher's over there. Come on, get on with the lesson. All right, we're just having a little fun here. Got to make math fun. Got to do it. Four plus three. Four, five, six, seven. All right. Seven sent from heaven. Seven. Put the seven right here. Put the seven right there. Got to go to the next number. Drop it down. One. One, one, one. Lots of fun. Hey, here's our answer. We did it. Let's check. Did we line up the decimal point? Check. Did we add all the numbers correctly? Check. Did we have fun? Check. Yeah, 4.25 plus 13.6 or 13.60, doesn't matter how you say it, equals 17.85. All right. You ready to do another one? Let's do a little subtraction. Come on, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, here's our next problem. 6.23 minus 4.6. You're saying, oh, come on, Math Ninja, you gave us a difficult one. Don't worry, take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy, step by step, baby step, yeah. All right, first of all, we need to rewrite the problem. Can you do it? Yeah, I know you can, let's do it, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna put 6.23, all right? Now I gotta write that other number, 4.6. How do I do it? Line up the decimal point, in a line, yeah, let's do it. I know that decimal point's gonna go right there, all right? 4.6, so I can just go 4.6, all right? Subtraction, okay? Put the subtraction line right there. Okay, we are ready to work it out. You say, what? Yeah, you gotta put a zero there. It makes it a lot more easier to do, all right? Put a zero right there. 4.6 is also 4.60, all right? All right, let's do it, all right, now, what I like to do is, otherwise I get a little confusing, I'm going to get rid of these numbers right up here. So I'm going to use my, my little tiny eraser here. Hold on one second. All right, now we're ready to do this problem, okay? Remember in subtraction, same kind of rules. We subtract the ones first. We might need to regroup. We don't know. Let's start it out. Let's do it. Yeah. Three minus zero. Can we do it? Is the number on top big? Yeah, it is. Bigger than the bottom number. We can do it. That means I have three and you're taking away zero. Ha! You're not going to take away anything. So I drop that down. Drop it down. Drop it down. Three. Two minus six. All right? That means I got two pieces of candy and you want six pieces of candy. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. You're not going to take six pieces of candy. I don't have them. I need to make that number bigger. Now, don't worry about that decimal point. You can still jump the fence. Go ask for some candy from the number over here, all right? Remember, we got to borrow over here. Six minus one would be five. Bring that, that 10 over here. This is going to turn into 12. I am big now. I am able to subtract. Yes, 12 minus six. What is it? 12 minus six? Six. Yeah, 12 minus six is six. Drop it down. Hey, our next step right here. The decimal point. Line it up. Drop it down. Line it up. Drop it down. Bam! Right here. Ho oh, ho. What do we have to do? Subtract five minus four. Uno. Just uno. One. That's our answer. 6.23 minus 4.6 equals 1.63. You are math ninjas. You have graduated from addition and subtraction of decimal points. Very good. Thank you very much. Hey, make sure you check out my other videos on here. Please subscribe. I really need some subscriptions on here, please. Go on, go on your Twitter right now. Go on your Facebook and say, hey, subscribe to this guy's channel. All right, this is the Learning Fun Show. And like always, I want you guys to have a fun day. Adios.